project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right so, Biggs. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. I found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. I swear I've seen that guy Mapes? somewhere. What's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck beds for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role. Oh, uh, they're talking about our old partner, Rob Earl, the bastard that he was. Yeah, if anyone can tell me where this guy's from, or what his real name is, it'd be greatly appreciated because it's really bugging me right now. And they definitely recycled the same <laughs> secretary every single time. Nothing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, oh, this is the spruce. Girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. All right, Nickerson plant explosion. This is the final interview session of this mission. You know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. It is doubt. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes' personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Knowledge of Akamato. Do you know Tomoko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? I pronounced it right this time. <laughs> it is once again doubt. You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them for my days on the force. Uh, knowledge of McClellan. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. It is a lie. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. The question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How you gonna prove any of that? It is the prop spinner. We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. All right, first thing we want to do... Let's just go up this staircase into Vernon's office. And all we gotta do is just inspect these two picture frames. I go with the lady first. That is Marie the Body McDonald. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. I personally am a brunette guy myself, but I guess blondes are fun. There we go, unknown address. Okay, and then go back downstairs. Then we're gonna go all the way over here, talk to this um, mechanic next to the engine. 
take yourself a look. Is that a Pratt and Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the props better? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. the oily covering on the metal. Well, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Okay. Alrighty, now I'll go all the way to the other side of the hangar. Hoping to... <laughs> Tempting fate. <laughs> and we gotta go to this ladder over here. One second. We gotta get my bearings here. Forget where I am. Oh, there we are. Okay. And then look at these oil drums. Collins' hmm. process was going to replace all this. Okay. And then go up into the plane. Then just go on to this blue, the blueprints are, oh, no, <laughs> blueprints are here. Get the set of coordinates. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north, longitude 76 degrees, zero minutes west. And convenient for us, there's a nice little map right here that we can use to figure out where the hell that is. It's gonna be someplace sunny, I tell you that. It's very delicate. Let's see where this is exactly. I guess this doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> already got their maiden flight planned. There's our probably done thinker. There's our music to tell us that we got everything, and let's return to the police station. Thanks for the tour, Mace. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, for <laughs> Cole's just like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Oh, worst career decision ever. It's gonna get you killed at the end. Do you know what? I'm gonna take his car. I'm gonna do it. Let's go. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Oh wait, oh, wait, wait! Cancel, cancel, cancel. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? I forget that we need our car for a scene a little bit later, so you can drive. We actually do need a police car, so uh, that car does look a lot better than ours, though. <laughs> what was he complaining about? Damn, Herschel. Quellen was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. Little, little bit like this. Someone like Mapes. Middleman was invented for us. Cole's just like, man, my career just took. A terrible nosedive. We just gotta go downstairs and talk to this guy. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it. But I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. 
Okay, this is the part where everyone always misses this clue. So hit circle here and go behind this desk and pick this up. It's very important because all every video I've seen, people have always screwed this up. So there you go. It's the microfilm that we found. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes, and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed. Where does that leave Nicholson? With a great big hole in the ground. There we go. So don't forget that clue. It's, kind of, it's very missable because you don't see it there. But anyways, now back to these pictures. Very funny. <laughs> I think you're right, right? We have our man. We take a nice photo, Phelps. Alright, so all you gotta do is just go through every single one of these photos and zoom in. Here you want to zoom in the watch. Bringing the watch on a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Okay. There's no actual clue here, but you still have to look at it. Millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy. And Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop, business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a bridge. Okay. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. Then zoom in. Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? My eyesight? They could probably do that nowadays with the all uh, with all the image enhancing they got, but we can get our address right here. Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the petri dish. Okay, perchloric acid. Reminds me of grade 12 chemistry. Linseed oil, and last one right here. <laughs> Okay, guys, just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumping from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple of years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. Don't forget our hat. You guys know how much my hat is important to me. <laughs> All right, now let's go back outside and go to that deciphered address that we just found out from the picture. Oh. That's nice, they know who I am. <laughs> Alrighty. Can you drive to this one? House and photograph. Where are we at? In we go. Gas. This place stinks of petroleum. Ab gas, if I'm not mistaken. It's all around the floor. 
Okay, then we just gotta come about to the room right here. Search this nightstand. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Paul. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. And then the passport, and you just gotta flip through every single page. Go. Keep flipping. Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, call the gas. We gotta get out of here right now. <laughs> Look, find the stove. Shoot the gas line, Paul. We're out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm standing in fire. Out the window. All right, for this next section, which is a driving scene, there's actually a trophy. One second. <laughs> there Fuck. Come on, he's not getting away from us. This is why we wanted the cop car. And like I was saying, um, this section has a trophy if you can get through on one time without failing. So just be careful. You cannot actually uh, shoot his tires out and stop him. Ah! Uh, you just have the matter of just getting to the destination at the end, so don't worry about, don't stress out too much of trying to get close to him. Uh, just stay with him with a certain amount of distance. Well, safe distance, that is. You gotta get me closer. And we're gonna get ambushed by other security guards too, which will make our life a little bit harder. But so long if you're careful enough, then you should be fine. And this, in the next scene, when we finally stop, there's actually another trophy for shooting the guys, the security guards uh, that come out through the car through the window. Um, it's, it's a pretty hard one. But what I suggest to you, if you don't get it right away, or you know that you don't get it, uh, just die, restart the scene over, and then you should be fine. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Take this guy out. Easy enough. <laughs> So I pro I'll get the trophy for the chase because I didn't get it last time because I failed it the first time. And I'll see what I can do while making sure that I get the, uh, the window the one. Well. Come on. Oh, that's a sharp turn. Steady I'll try to bust go, go, oh no. Stay with him, I don't want to, I want the trophy. Go, go, go. Forgot that he made that turn that quickly. You gonna turn here, bro? Step on it, huh? Get me just a little closer. Yeah, there it is. Cut through the neighbor's yard. No big deal. And here we are at the end. So you should get. I should get my trophy right here. And I may die a couple times doing this scene because I'm gonna try to get the next one. To go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, hey, Cole. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do is got myself a better gun. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty. Oh, sweet. Never mind. Oh, wait, no, that was the trophy for the last one. Here, I gotta take other guys in the car. No, didn't get it. Gotta die. Let's try this again. Alright guys, a little break from the live commentary right here. Just because this took about 10 tries. Uh, what you want to do here for the bulletproof windshield achievement or trophy is take out two or three of these guards. You don't want to waste your time taking them all out because if you take them all out, it just triggers the car to come in a little bit earlier. So once you take two or three out, uh, make a beeline for this truck closest to this building right here, the green one, and then park yourself right in front of it. That should give you enough time to line up the headshot before the guy can come out. 
turn it on really quickly, pick up this guy, and that is Scopey right there. It's gonna pop up in a second. So a little break in the live commentary because I just stopped talking after like the 10 seconds at this. So anyways, we're gonna get right back into it right now. Alright, let's just take care of the rest of these guys. And then we should be fine. Line up this headshot. Kill a cop and it's the electric chair. Shoot him in the foot, maybe? <laughs> oh, that was a bad shoot right there. Alright, let's go, ma. Let's go bag ourselves a killer after I go back and I get my hat. Because that is very, very important to me. It's still there, that's a good thing. Pick it up. There it is. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we just gotta run to the yellow flag. And this next part, it's once again, it's just a standard gunfight scene. Uh, better yet with our pistol. Maybe I should have grabbed my Tommy gun that was in my car for that. Whatever. Let's do it. It's more entertaining with the pistol, right guys? Right. Pop up. Let's go. One down. Out here, line up the headshot. Did I get him? Maybe, maybe not. You're in my cover, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Take it! Guy up top there. It's okay, because he's standing next to some red barrels. That makes things easy. And you may not get to see this, but the guy we're after is actually at the very back. He's in the black suit. I'll kill him. I'll kill him way before we get there. You can't hit him from here with your pistols, but uh, I should be able to pick up these guys though. Oh! Oh, I lost my hat again. Damn it! Maybe I'll go to the blue. Here, one second. I'm gonna go to the blue thing right here. What guns this guy's got? No? Oh, bad shoot, bad shoot. There you go. There's one. Oh, he's hitting me right now. Let's just take this calmly. What? Did I get him? Nope. There you go. A little bit closer. And gotta get really close to this one. Line up our headshot perfectly. Not out of range. I hit him from here last time. Maybe not. Maybe it was a little closer. Okay. Got him. Oh, didn't get him. Really? There you go. Got him. explain this to me again so the guy at the chemical plant he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant but he blows himself up before he can manage it so why the dead body in the refrigerator Mapes, captain he was eliminating all competitors for the process when it went bang he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant Mapes, right I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and 
half the city exploding. Might just have made the case of the decade. <laughs> there we go. Well, guys, that was the Nicholson Electroplating. Once again, some more LA Noir DLC. Um, it's always nice to come back and play this game, even though I do have some other Let's Plays going on right now on the channel. And I can only hope that they'll be constantly releasing more DLC for this game. And I hope they extend the main storyline because something with that ending just didn't sit right with me. But thank you guys for watching. Five stars as usual. Valorous. And if you please, just if this video helped you out or you found it entertaining, uh, just give it a quick rating because it'll help promote the vi uh, video, help promote the series, and it'll help support the channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.